Stevenson men's and women's swimming, we're looking for people that want to work hard, that want to be a part of a really close-knit team, and people that uh, love the sport. Uh, every single day we're in the pool to try to get a little bit better. We're trying to rise above where we were previous years and uh, we're trying to find new ways to challenge ourselves, uh, uh, not just on our strengths, but also on our weaknesses. Uh, in my experience, you know, I've been coaching for about 15 years, starting in club swimming, and you know, I've coached beginner six-year-olds all the way up through Olympic level swimmers. And um, no matter what type of athlete that I've coached, I've always seen myself as a developmental coach. So in my practices, I try to make sure I meet you where you're at. I try to fill in the gaps of um, your technical or tactical choices. And I try to get you to understand what it's going to be, what it's going to take to be successful in uh, the MAC conference. Uh, we swim in a very competitive uh, conference. We have 14 teams that are part of it. And we're every single year just trying to rise up and get a little bit better. Uh, academically, uh, we try to stay uh, above a 3.0. Uh, as freshmen, we come in, we make sure that we're doing eight hours of study hall during the year. And you know, we, we have a really good bond as a team where our upperclassmen will help our underclassmen whenever they need, whether it's a study buddy or, uh, hey, have you done this class before? Uh, can you help me out with it and, and get, get me to the next level? So in the pool, we hold each other accountable. Uh, we, do, we do practice early in the morning. So we're going uh, 6 to 8 in the morning, uh, 6 to 8.30 in the morning. And you know, the athletes take care of getting each other up, getting each other to practice. And it's a really great time to work with them and see them uh, come, to, come alive early in the morning. You don't have to worry about uh, it interrupting your academic schedule. You don't have to worry about it um, you know, being late at night after you've already done a full day of school, it's a great way to start the day. So for all my swimmers, I have four rules uh, that I want them to, to live by every single day. Uh, number one is show up. Uh, I don't want there to be a lot of distractions, whether it's outside the classroom or inside the pool. The more distractions we can limit, uh, the better it is they can focus on what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish towards their goals. Uh, the second thing that we work on is honoring your teammates with your effort and then expecting your teammates to honor you back. And we, we carry that at day in and day out, not even uh, if it's in the classroom or if it's on, in the pool, we make sure that we um, hold each other to a higher level all the time. The third thing I, I hold strongly is uh, doing things correctly. Uh, making sure that you know when you're coming off the wall, you're, you're doing the proper streamline, tr proper uh, dolphin kicking, stroke counts. Everything needs to be done correctly so you can get to that next level uh, technically and um, proficiently uh, so that the, at championship time, everything's there ready to go. And the fourth thing that I hold very strongly over the swimmers is um, being thankful. Uh, having gratitude for uh, the opportunities that they get day in and day out. Uh, whether it's you know opportunities to work hard and practice, opportunities to struggle in, in school or to succeed in school, opportunities to rise above, opportunities to help a friend. So there's lot, lots of opportunities that there are to be thankful for, especially um, you know uh, around the world right now. <laughs> So our pool, uh, it is off campus and we have no problem getting there. The team takes care of all the uh, travel arrangements uh, to and from campus. They uh, park, out each, park outside each other's dorms and they make sure they get them over to the pool early in the morning. And we actually have one of the best pools in the conference. We swim out of an eight lane, 50 meter pool uh, with an adjustable bulkhead. We swim 25 yards, we swim 25 meters. Sometimes we'll have 50 meter opportunities. And we also swim widths of the pool in the uh, cool down side. And that's a 20 yard pool. Um, with, with our partnership with uh, McDonough School and the Eagle Swim Team that swims out of our pool as well, we have access to all the training equipment, uh, uh, towers, uh, parachutes, uh, resistance cords, uh, mono fins, drag socks, any, anything you can possibly think of when it comes to training equipment and uh, ways to get better technically and proficiently in the water, uh, we have access to. And that's because we have that relationship with one of the top high school programs in the country and one of the top 50 swim clubs in the country.